Greetings once again. Welcome to Results Oriented Preparation. My name is Caleb and in today's video we are talking about Porter's Five Forces Model. Porter's Five Forces Model is a tool that is used to analyze the market environment. Now the importance of this tool uh, is to make sure that businesses know the shape and the force and the strength of the competition that they may face in the market environment. Now, remember that a business in the market environment does not have full control over the variables or factors that are there. Some of the variables could be competitors, suppliers, uh, and so forth. However, it is essential that a business knows the strength of the competition that is in that market environment and one way of doing so is to use a tool such as Porter's Five Forces model. Now this in particular content is uh, for grade 12 business studies, uh, 2022 grade 12 for wishing you all the best. Now remember first before we go into our content, please like and share the video. If you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe to the channel. Now. Porter's five forces model are these that we're seeing here on the board. The first one, we'll start here to your right. The first one is the power of buyers. And then next, the power of suppliers. And then we've got competitive rivalry. And then uh, the threat of substitution as well as the threat of new competitors. So basically, uh, the model states that a business uh, has to know the impact that these have on that particular business for it to get ahead of competition for example if we look at the power of buyers there we know that buyers uh, have impact on the business because they can choose to either buy or not to buy and as well as the strength of the demand for a particular uh, product can position a business quite well in that particular market environment and if it has got a lot of buyers uh, wanting its products okay demanding its product more than they do to that co to their competitors therefore that business can be ahead of the competition and then the next uh, variable there is the power of suppliers now suppliers uh, may influence a business with one the quality of the raw materials that they are supplying, uh, the time you supply, as well as the number of suppliers that you have can either determine the price of that particular product in the market. For instance, if we've got a few suppliers, right, few suppliers supplying a particular raw materials, it means that they've got a lot of strength because they can determine what the market price can be but if we have a lot of suppliers it is easy for a business to switch suppliers because there are many suppliers that are providing the same product and therefore in most probably the price of that particular raw material will also be low and again the issue of the quality of the raw material as well as the pricing uh, also have an impact on how this business will relate to its suppliers. If a supplier is a supplier that is timeless in their supply, they are never late with their supply, and then uh, you know that the business here can plan easily with its purchases and also this will not affect the business uh, productivity thus ensure that it has a product in the marketplace when needed therefore that way it gets ahead of its uh, competition and then the next uh, force there is the competitive rivalry there now meaning that the the more intense the competition in the marketplace can determine the either the success or the failure of a business okay let's say in this case we've got a lot of businesses that are selling the same uh, particular product and the product therefore becomes easily accessible to consumers by so doing 
the competition, the, the, the level of competition is quite high. And if it is quite high, therefore, chances are the business can or may not uh, win or it can actually lose in that uh, rivalry in competition. And then next, this one here, the threat of substitution is usually linked to uh, the competition because this tells us the different type of products that can be substituted. Remember, here I spoke about products that are same or identical products, but here we're looking at the ease with which a, a buyer can switch right, from one competitor to the other based on the availability of substitutes. If there are a lot of substitutes selling or offering the same kind of utility or satisfaction to your consumers there, it is easy for them to switch to an alternative that probably is cheaper or that is easily accessible or that is also a, a more, more of a higher quality and that is more satisfactory to the consumer. So, depending on the number of substitutes and their accessibility, then the business can either be have a competitive advantage or not. Okay, so if there are more substitutes, then it is easier and cheaper for a business to switch whenever the, the, the main business is not providing according to satisfaction. And then uh, lastly but not least is the threat of new entrants. Now what this means is how easy it is to start a business in that particular sector or in that market. Now you find that in, in, in other cases, for example, let's say for those that are doing economics, you will understand that uh, in a perfect competition, you've got an easy entry into the market. Therefore, it increases the threats from new businesses that are coming in because they've seen that the market is profitable. So that results in a huge threat that new entrants uh, will pause on the business. But however, if the market that the business operates in has got a lot of barriers to entry, for example, such as licensing, uh, let's you can look for instance uh, a, a market like a monopoly right you know that there are barriers for example escom is protected by legislation is protected by certain laws that uh, prohibit others to go in and compete with it so there's actually no threat there of subs of, of of new entrants but where there is free competition it is easy for businesses to come in vying for those same uh, profits and therefore uh, increasing the level of competition in that particular market thereby affecting that particular business remember therefore grade 12 2022 and all the other guys that are writing exams this year early preparation equals excellent results and also uh, the channel will benefit from you liking the video, sharing it, and subscribing if you have not yet subscribed. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.